people working in the alcohol and drug sector and people working in the broader welfare sector quite often face a lot of difficulties engaging clients, especially when clients are mandated to attend services and quite often when clients are in a very difficult power imbalance situation. DEN's produced a lot of resources that are really good at facilitating early engagement and getting people to actually start to work themselves in part of that process. A lot of the tools assist in case management and case management structure and are really useful. One of the DEN tools that we offer is the drug dice um, or the storytelling dice. Each pack contains some dice with some images on them, some drug related images and some Rory story, story Cube dice. The dice alter the balance of power in a clinical situation. They're tactile, they enable and encourage communication by allowing the person to start to tell a story through the tubes. They offer the opportunity to educate when issues come up. And they also offer that the opportunity for the person who is playing with the dice to actually start to give you information and share information themselves. I was working in a situation with a young person and we were playing with the dice and the dice rolled up certain things and he started to talk about his family and family situation that surrounded him. And that engendered an opportunity for him to actually start to learn about some of the drugs that he was using and experiencing and start to learn and pick up information for himself. Now another tool that we have is the drug harm cards. These cards are again very tactile, um, illustrative, um, very easy to work with and very easy to play with, very easy to transport, um, but offer a lot of potential for opportunities to learn and to educate. They are image based, so people with literacy problems um, can actually use these and engage with them. And they're also really good if you're dealing with multicultural clients. I've seen how impactful the um, cards can be because I've actually worked with young people who had literacy problems and we've laid these cards out on the table and it's worked wonderfully because the last thing they expected to do was actually play a game. Well, the cards work in, in sequence, people can go from 100 to 0 depending on the different drug types and they get the opportunity to actually learn because a lot of people don't know what this particular drug is for example. So when the cards come out people actually get the opportunity to discuss the various types of um, drug types and rate them on a scale. The tools that are available are really dynamic and have lots and lots of potential. However, if they're not used appropriately, the tools really don't come to their maximum effect. The reason I've actually picked these tools to talk about today is because they are accessible, because they're transportable, because they are useful in lots of different circumstances, and they're useful for different age groups. And I've used these in situations with young people and with adults and found them equally as dynamic.